The technique that I'm going to show you is etching and that's where we take a metal plate and we etch our image into the plate and take a print off of it. I'll show you the different ways of mark making. These include line and tone. So for the line, we use two different grounds. Soft ground, which gives you a soft pencil-like mark, and hard ground, which gives you a very defined, sharp line. I'll also talk about aquatint, and I've got this little test strip just here, and you can see the different grades of tone. And this relates to the length of time the plate has been put in the acid. So this um, has been etched in an acid bath, but there's also another way of etching the plate called spit bite, which I'll show you as well. Firstly, we measure the plate to the required size. I'm using a metal scribe to score the plate. And then it's taken over to the guillotine to be cut. Takes about feather. I'm going to polish the surface of the plate to make it nice and smooth. We use three different grades of sandpaper, starting obviously with the coarse. This is the finest grade of sandpaper and the surface is polished wet. The next stage is filing the edges of the plate. We file and polish the edges so that the ink can be wiped cleanly away from them. I'm burnishing the edges to make sure they're super smooth. The surface of the plate has to be completely clean, so I'm using whiting and ammonia to get rid of any greasy marks. So the plate is now prepared and ready for use, and we can move on to the next stage of the process. I've put the etching plate in our hot plate to warm it up. The soft ground melts onto the plate. The ground is rolled out to coat the plate in a thin layer. It's still a wee bit thin, so I put some more on. Job done. I will walk across the road to get some foliage. I'll use these later. I've covered the plate with tracing paper and started my drawing. The pressure from the pencil transfers the ground from the plate to the paper. This exposes the steel below.
soft ground lifts off the plate easily so things can be pressed into it. Anything with a texture can be used. For example, feathers, fabric or, in this case, leaves. A wee bit of pressure is applied. You can see the grey of the etching plate where the crown has been removed. We don't want the acid to etch the back of the plate so we have to protect it. So this liquid stop out is painted onto the back. I'm also stopping out the edges. So it's now time to etch the plate. The etching path contains a weak solution of nitric acid. It'll be etched for around 15 to 20 minutes. The ground will eventually start to break down, so you have to keep checking the plate. The plate is washed or dipped in a bath of water to stop it etching. I'm having a wee look to see if the etch is deep enough. I've decided it needs a little bit longer. It looks good now. The ground is washed off with white spirit. So next I'm going to put it on a hard ground. The ground is applied in the same way as the previous one, but melts at a much higher temperature. Hard ground can be smoked and we do this to make the surface darker. The surface of hard ground isn't sticky like soft ground. A metal point is used to draw through the wax. Smoking the plate allows the drawing to be seen better. And the plate is etched again. The longer the plate is in the acid, the thicker the line. I want these lines to be quite delicate, so I'm stopping them out to prevent the etching further. And it's back into the acid. We can repeat this process to get lines of varying depth. And we now have a combination of soft and hard lines. So now I'm going to take a print from the plate to check I'm happy with the marks I've got. The plate is warmed on a hot plate to soften the ink. The ink is applied to the plate and forced into the etched lines. I'm using a ball of scrim to force the ink further into the lines and wipe it off the surface. I finish by using tissue to polish the surface of the plate. The plate goes on the press bed. 
The paper has been soaking in a bath of water to soften it. I drain then take off the excess and blot the paper. The paper is then placed on top of the plate. The press blankets go on top and through it goes. And we have a print. So now we can see if we want to do anything else to the plate. So the next technique I'm going to do to the plate is aquatint. The plate is degreased. This is our aquatint box and it's full of powdered resin. I'm hammering it to loosen the resin. The handle is turned to agitate the powder. The handle is locked in place and the paddle acts as a shelf. The powder will settle onto the surface of the etching plate. This powder will now be melted onto the surface of the plate. The melted resin gives the plate a dot structure. This is used to introduce tone to the image. So I'm stopping out the areas that I don't want to edge. There are a couple of ways of etching the plate now. The first one I'm going to do is called spit bite. Here a stronger solution of acid is brushed directly onto the plate. As the acid reacts with the plate, it goes weaker and dark. This is blotted off and fresh acid applied. The more the etch, the darker the tone. And I've been to over these areas to prevent the etching further. The plate can also be etched in the bath as before. Etching this way gives flat areas of tone to the plate. The longer the plate is in the bath, the darker the edge. The areas to remain light are stopped out and the plate goes back in the acid. 
This process of stop out and etch is repeated until we have all the tones we want. The paper goes into the bath to be soaked and the plate is inked up as before. Street. my daily workout. So we have a wee print that hopefully shows a nice range of marks. So this is our print of the plate as it is at the moment. You can see the soft ground marks here on the textures of the egg, a little bit of line there and obviously the leaves. You can also see the hard ground uh, marks as well. The lines are much more defined, sharper you can get a deeper edge on those lines. You can see the aquatint. So here we've got the flat areas of aquatint. And um, here on the eggs, we've got a little bit of shadow that says spit bite. And you can see that it gives a much softer edge. It's actually, it's, a, it's an edge that I'm really fond of. I like the kind of diffuse quality of it. So you could decide this this is this image completed and this is your final print or it could be what's just called a, a proof. So this is a proofing stage and the, you would then go back into it, perhaps working out some more, make some corrections. I can see a couple of things I would correct or alternatively you might think, well, I'm going to do a second plate. And for example, I look at this and I think, well, I'd quite like to do a second plate and perhaps do some more spit bite on the leaves and the egg and ink those up in a colour. So there you go, that's etching. <laughs>